Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're coming across a command prompt error 6118 has occurred and that the list of servers for this workgroup is not currently available. So if you're trying to view the netview all command or something along those lines and you're trying to view the network devices from the terminal and you're coming across this error message in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu, type in services, best match under services should say app. Go ahead and just off click on again, services app. And now you want to locate the function discovery provider host service. Double click on that. Set startup type to automatic delete start. And if server status is stopped, you want to select the start button. Select apply and okay. Now you want to locate the function discovery resource publication right underneath of that. So double click on that. Same thing automatic delete start, select apply, start the service, and then select OK. And now once you're done with that, close out of here. Open up the start menu, type in control panel. Best match, should go back with control panel. So go ahead and left click on that. And now that we're in the control panel, you want to change the view to large icons and select network and sharing center. Select Change Advanced Sharing Settings on the left panel here. And then you want to turn on Network Discovery. Right up underneath Network Discovery, you want to turn that on. And now that you've done that, you want to go underneath All Networks. So expand the drop down for that. And you shouldn't have to change anything. So use 128 bit encryption, that's fine. And turn on Password Protected Sharing. And that should pretty much be it guys. Select Save Changes. Close out of here. Restart your computer and that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.